So some dogs are born without a tail. There is some evidence in behavioral literature for veterinarians that dogs that are tailless may be misunderstood by other dogs because their communication device is not as accurate or it's not as well understood by other dogs. So if you have a dog that's tailless, like this cute Aussie, I'm going to um, assume this dog was born without its tail. This dog may not um, communicate as well with other dogs because it, the other dogs can't read its tail language. They can only read its ears and its face and its body language, but not its tail. Do you have any things you want to share about that? Well, certainly uh, they wouldn't have it there to help with balance. 